Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Books Talk. And this time, more than a book specific, I will talk to you about an author. And this author is Bruno Munari. Before we begin, as usual, if you want to support the channel, Put a like, subscribe, share with your friends. And if you want to go a step further, just check out my website. There's a page where with all the books I published, so check out my books, that will help a lot. This said Bruno Munari. Bruno Munari was one of the greatest designer, in my opinion. He was an Italian. He was born in 1907 and died in 1998. So a very long career uh, on different times. He had his childhood in Venice, he was from Milan, had his childhood in Venice and was back in Milan in 26 and started to work. And um, at the time it was pre-World War II, so a lot of things were connected to futurism and he was kind of a futurist himself. So uh, he had really a long life experience in a different era. And that's uh, something great. He did a lot as a graphic designer, a lot of as industrial designer, and uh, a lot of beautiful things. And by the way, there's munart.org, that is a website where there's a lot of information about him. And if you don't know him, go there and check, follow the links, and you will find uh, a lot of things that probably you use every day that he designed. And uh, a part of Munari, that is uh, why I decided to um, talk about him in these videos, is that he was a great communicator. So he wrote books like Design as Art or uh, Fantasia, for example, Fantasy in English, and uh, other books uh, that explore uh, the creative process, explore um, the connection between uh, what is the rational and real part that solve the problem that we have to do and connect it with art and transform uh, a technical solution in art, all these kind of things. For me, this was uh, very important because as a commercial photographer, I had to deal uh, with the same kind of client he had uh, uh, as a designer. So that was uh, very, very interesting. And one of the books that I really love is Fantasia or Fantasy. Uh, in this book, he explores exactly, um, he defines what is creativity, uh, what is imagination, what is fantasy, and so on. And after uh, defining the terms, and by the way, our definition that you still you see used in a lot of different places, and they were born from Munari. And uh, he started to, uh, start to tell tricks that we can use uh, uh, to create something uh, new, something artistic, something that is a new vision on, of the same thing. So uh, there are fun studies as uh, the, the sequence, visual sequence of uh, trying to find uh, a comfortable position on an uncomfortable chair and uh, these kind of things. But he talks uh, between the relations of the things we know and how we can put them together in different ways to create a new view. And are all tricks that you can see used in art uh, a lot. Uh, for example, um, you can have a change uh, of size. Uh, something that is normally very small, you can portray it in a very big way and this kind of things or uh, change of use, uh, change of uh, scenery. Uh, you put a boat in the middle of a grass uh, field and that will be something um, different that is kind of shocking to the people. So there are a lot of tricks that we uh, see used every day and uh, Munari explained them here. Uh, change of weight, for example, if you think Magritte uh, that uh, has this huge rock suspended in the air, or these kind of things. And uh, all these tricks can be used to stimulate your creativity. I used that uh, a lot of time when I was uh, studying something for clients and uh, kind of advertised for a company or similar, and I was trying to came out with an idea that was kind of uh, an original vision of what is uh, usually around. And with this trick, uh, sometimes it's very easy. You just 
apply those tricks one after the other and uh, sometimes comes out something that is uses the trick uh, sometimes just uh, the trick uh, kind of unlock your creativity so you can uh, you can see create something that is not an exactly derivative of the trick but works very well so Bruno Munari, fantastic author. Uh, by the way, he did also something that I like, there are books that you cannot read uh, and are books that uh, are just uh, a colored page with holes and this kind of things. And uh, he started these books to teach kids what uh, a book is. So it was just take a piece of paper, fold in uh, 16 times and cut and you have a book. So are books that you cannot read because there's no word on that, but are very beautiful graphically. And uh, he did a lot of this kind of things. He loved to teach to kids. He loved to um, create books for kids and so on. So really uh, a great, great artist, a great designer and a great communicator. And if you teach in some schools, um, really get uh, all the books you can from Bruno Munari and uh, you will find a lot a lot of material a lot a lot of ideas in that a lot of inspiration to teach to kids uh, by the way it's nice that i always write uh, my name and the place and the date where i buy the books and this one is from 6th of july of 96 so a lot of years ago and uh, this said munari fantastic author Check it out his website and uh, look around and look for books uh, that you can find. Those are also easy to find uh, as used book, so you can uh, you can buy these kind of books, kind of for cheap if you find them used. So Munari, fantastic, fantastic designer. I have no idea how much is uh, known outside of Italy and outside the specific field of design. I'm pretty sure that in design is very well known. Uh, I don't know in other fields. Uh, he's not talking about photography because these books are not talking about photography, but uh, the inspiration that we can get can come uh, also from people talking about other subjects. And, uh, graphic design or industrial design this kind of things design is still an art and still is a visual art so can be very close to photography so check it out bruno munari and uh, here i have uh, designer's art here i have fantasy and they are both italian you can find the english version i suppose uh, there's a lot of uh, of his books uh, online so i'm pretty sure that uh, you can find a lot of Munari's books uh, in any language. I'm sure there's a lot of Spanish I can find, you can find in English and so on. Check it out. One of the greatest designers. So thank you for watching and see you next time with another book. <music>